Once a vehicle has been placed onto the canvas area, it can be clicked and moved to the precise position and rotated using the rotation arrows. Prior to drawing a path, if you need to go back and edit any vehicle settings, just double click on it to reopen the vehicle library. You can also modify how the vehicle appears on the canvas area here in the properties palette. Like all objects, you can change the color of the cab, trailers and tires, the stroke outline of the vehicle, and also the opacity. To start your path, simply click the arrow in the direction you wish the vehicle to travel. Note that the larger arrow will represent forward movement and the smaller arrow for reversing. Once clicked, a section details box appears in the top left of the canvas area where you can specify path section parameters such as speed and whether the wheels can be turned on stop. Speed and friction are linked by default. You will see that if I increase the speed to 20 miles an hour, the friction value automatically adjusts. To unlink them, simply click this link icon and you'll be able to adjust the values independently. The color filled area will give you a view of the predicted movement for your vehicle at the speed you've specified in the section details. If I adjust the speed, it will automatically update the movement prediction on the canvas area. The movement area color can then be adjusted here, as well as its opacity in case you need to see your document more clearly. Just below that area will be the vehicle's turning capabilities, which is an overview of the minimum turning radius and the maximum turning angle based on the speed you've set. Coming back to our path, you will see a turning angle displayed on the path. When the cursor is moved, the angle changes and will turn red when you hit the extreme. As you can see, with a default speed of 5 miles an hour, this vehicle has a maximum steering angle of 31.3 degrees. If I increase the speed to 15 miles an hour, the vehicle's turning radius will increase, reducing the maximum steering angle to 13.6 degrees. Each click of the mouse will drop a control point and start a new section of the path. For this tutorial, let's see if this vehicle can safely navigate the entry to this car park and complete a reverse parking maneuver. Note that control points can only be dropped within the predicted movement area highlighted. Once I've completed my forward movement to move into reverse, I can click the direction button in the section details, or I can simply press R on my keyboard to toggle between forward and reverse on the fly. When you finish drawing the path, just right click to drop the tool. Once complete, you can go back and amend your path by clicking and dragging any of the control points. Just note that adjusting the position of a control point will impact other path sections. By default, the vehicle image is shown at each control point, but I can switch this off here. As I adjust the position of the control point, you can see that the position of the vehicle shifts and the angle of the front wheels change. You can also adjust the parameters for any individual path sections. Just select the path, then hold the control key and select the section. When selected, it will highlight red and if needed, I can select multiple sections. Then, in the section details box, you can adjust the speed or toggle turn wheels on stop. If you want to continue a completed vehicle path, just right click and select continue path. This will allow you to continue your path using the set of parameters from the previous section.
You can also remove a vehicle control point by right-clicking and selecting Remove. In our next tutorial video, we'll step through evaluating your swept path.